Family is all packed up, waiting for the tow boat to come. Hi, Dave. Welcome to MJ Sailing. We're Matt and Jessica, a couple that left Michigan for the nomadic lifestyle seven years ago. Recently, we refitted an aluminum boat to sail to the Arctic and explore some of the more remote areas of the planet. Thanks for joining the adventure. Sunny day here in Halford River, but we are getting ourselves ready to move at the moment. Time to go into a big town and provision and just like do all that stuff that one does after about a month of being off the grid. So hopefully there's some spots available. We had friends that went in a few days ago. Apparently it was pretty busy over the weekend. Uh, it's holiday weekend. Holiday um, weekend. So everyone's still in preparation for school starting and stuff like that. They're making their last crop and fetch this week. So hopefully they've started to empty out and slips are available now. But it's a beautiful morning out. Probably a perfect day to make the trip. So we're gonna get the engine started and get on our way. expect to see as I'm getting my anchor up in England at 8 o'clock in the morning and somebody out water skiing. But hey, if you can, may as well seize the day. It's just the calmest morning out right now. There is hardly a breath of wind. And I can't tell if the race to the marinas is on these other two boats ahead of us, or if they're just headed to places like Foy or Plymouth. We'll have to see what kind of traffic we run into on our way there. And that's why they do it first thing in the morning when no one else is out. It's actually a pretty nice day for it though, so get out and enjoy your Monday. And first time using dock lines and... I know, you got crazy. Uh, so I think the majority of them are there. Yep. Dolphin. Dolphin? I think there is an early morning dolphin sighting. Two of them, maybe they'll come back, we'll see. Oh, there he is! I'm deep. Hello, now that has to be the best way in the world to wake up. Coffee's just about brewed. We've got dolphins. This is life. We managed to secure ourselves a spot here at the Falmouth Yacht Haven right at the end of the dock, which was great because we we're coming in. It's first come, first serve, and we're kind of like pulling around. Just saw the spot tucked in. So we're all set there, showered up, and now we're gonna head into town to go to like an auto parts store, Chandlery, get some necessary things for the boat since we've been away for a bit. And most importantly, stock the boat up with fruits and vegetables. We miss them so, so much.
we are at low, low tide right now. It's a long hike up this ramp to get back up and there's so much like kelp and all the boats are drying out, which is fun when you're at a dock, a floating dock, and you don't have to worry about your anchor chain anymore. Just next to the marina, we stopped into a place called Trago, and it's supposed to kind of have absolutely everything. There is a chandelier here, like lots of hardware, do it yourself. So since it's right next door, we're gonna pop in and see if they have anything that we need here. Otherwise, we're gonna have to find more chandeliers, and I think we're gonna have to go to an auto parts store for the belt for the engine, but you know, they definitely have a lot of stuff here, and if we weren't selling the boat, there'd probably be a lot of things that we could bring on board. Yesterday was a bit of a bust for trying to find the things that we needed. We didn't venture too far, but we did find out that for the belt at least we need to go to an actual auto parts store, which is way, way down the river. So this morning we have gotten the bikes out, and we're gonna take a ride, and then it is going to be hard to work when we get back. All right. Maps took us way, way out of our way. Honestly, it may have been easier just to walk this. They have it? Maybe. It's a little small. Uh huh. So, we'll have to see. It's half an inch smaller than what I actually need. And if I remember right, it was fairly tight to put the last one on, so yeah. it may not work. Huh. So, might be cycling our bucks back out here. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. <laughs> Success. 95 pence for my little horn fleet that I needed. So we're actually two for two today. Maybe. The belt is still a question if oh. it's actually gets bigger or not. But before we can get to the mini dealer, we passed ba 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 ba! Greatest sight ever, a little. And it's huge. It's like the biggest little we've ever seen. We're gonna stock up on cheap produce, fruits. It's gonna feel so good. And I'm gonna just be like eating apples nonstop for the next week now. basically leaving the boat but I finally got the canvas done and I don't know why I didn't do this before considering we had like six months in the marina and we were in lockdown for about three of them but one more project done. Wake up sleepyhead. Mm. I've been working so hard lately I don't want to get up I want to sleep but it's survey day so they're coming to take the boat today. And it's kind of an odd situation because we assume that we would be bringing the boat to where the tonnage survey is. There's, I think, three or four places in the Falmouth area that can do it. And it's been very, very busy lately. Apparently boats are just selling like hotcakes, so it's kind of hard to get surveys done right now. Um, but we did find a place. The only thing is they're only allowing staff. I think it's Fal Falmouth Boat Company. 
Um, but anyway, it's like they're operating right now, but only staff can be there, so we can't actually bring the boat to the marina for the survey. They're going to have to come take it. So from what we know, they're going to be here in like 90 minutes, and they're just going to attach like a tender or a tow boat to Elements, and they're going to bring her down there and do an out of the water survey and then bring her back to us where the surveyor will then come on board and do the rest. So. Sad part is we miss it. And we miss it. We don't get to see it. We don't get to see her come out of the water. We don't get to see how the inspection goes. So we're just going to have to cross our fingers. Oh yeah. And we get to take Georgie off the boat too and deal with her for however long they have it gone. So it's going to be an interesting afternoon. And I just want to go back to sleep. But I am excited at the same time because we've been waiting for this for a while now. This is kind of like the last step, so. Family is all packed up, waiting for the tow boat to come, and then we'll get off for a few hours while they do the haul out for the tonnage survey, and then bring it somewhere. <laughs> for the rest of the server, which is gonna happen this afternoon. Where'd you go? You cannot get back on there right now. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. Boy, Dave. <laughs> See you in a few hours. Now that's the maneuvering we would never be able to do. <laughs> and now all we can do is wait. Well, there's still gonna be stuff for us to do this afternoon, but for a few hours anyway. Is George, are you ready for shore leave? Yeah. Uh, but while we wait, we're just chilling at the beautiful harbor front here. Georgie is taking shelter under this Land Rover behind me. I've just sent Matt up to the Tesco to grab us some lunch. Um, so I guess all we can do now is wait and hope that the haul out goes well and that they can get it back to the docks here for us to do the onboard survey in a little bit. But unusually warm weather here in Cornwall. Actually getting hot and sweaty. <laughs> Did not think this was gonna happen during our stay. Coffee. Nice coffee. Yay. Chicken bacon lettuce sandwich. Yum. And the perfect little stoop to sit on and eat it. Give me some shade. <laughs> Best chips ever. Would have thought Thai sweet chili would work out for potato chip flavor. <laughs> <laughs> she totally thinks she's gonna get fat. and it'll probably be a few days before we oh, yeah, three or four days before we get the hear response. back. But because there's going to be thunderstorms and rain and the extended forecast, we thought we'd take what we have left of the afternoon and come out to the beach here. Yeah, a little sweaty just... and gross. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is, I think, the first time we've actually sweat. In the UK, In yeah. the UK, probably. And uh, the sad thing is it's much. like 73 degrees. It's not even like tropical hot or crooked hot. Beautiful. The weather for the past couple of days has been incredible. Yeah. So we thought we'd just get outside with a little bit of nice weather we had. And the beaches here are stunning. So if we do find another clear day, we'll have to come back. Um, but yeah, so the survey is done. So I guess all we can do now on that front is wait. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed.
we're out wandering through Falmouth today. The survey was yesterday and we knew it was going to take about three or four days to get the full report back. But we did hear back from the potential owner and he talked to the surveyor who said everything structurally is like sound and insurable, which I guess is all he needed to hear. So he's taking it. We have sold elements. I, like, I can't believe it. It's just, I don't know why it hasn't hit. I don't think it's going to hit, even though we've been talking about it for weeks now. Um, but yeah, that's, we gotta get it ready. So he's gonna, the new owner, Bryce, is gonna be coming here to Falmouth in, what would that be, like 10, 10 days now? So yeah, we've gotta get all of our stuff out. And, uh, okay, it's gonna be a busy few weeks, but she's sold. And there's a lot of people around. We gotta go celebrate. Japan.